Hi, I'm Ron Pars from parpools.com, and today we're going to take a look at uh, a, a big buzzword that's that's happening out on, on in pool forums online and in the blogosphere, and it's this this whole idea of a new problem, which is ammonia in swimming pools. I hate to burst everybody's bubble, but ammonia is nothing new. It's a problem that the pool industry has dealt with for years and years and years. Except right now it's been given a brand new brand new name and a, a, new, a new face. But it's the same old problem. Ammonia is nothing new. Ammonia is simply a very naturally occurring chemical reaction between two elements, nitrogen and hydrogen. Basically, what ammonia is, it, chemically it looks like NH3, which means there's one nitrogen atom attached to three hydrogen atoms. Nitrogen comes from a variety of, of places. It, mainly it comes from either fertilizer or dead hair and dead skin, dead bugs that get in the pool. All of those will contribute some amount of nitrogen into the, into the pool. Now if you remember your, your, your high school chemistry, we know that water is H2O. So there are two hydrogen molecules atoms and one oxygen atom, when those come in contact with the nitrogen floating around, the nitrogen is naturally attra attracted to the hydrogen. They form up and they, and they turn into ammonia, NH3. It's nothing as, as, as more magical than that. The problem though is that when chlorine is, is involved, that now attaches onto the chlorine molecule. And now we have the problem of chloramines. So whether you're talking about ammonia, or whether you're talking about chloramines or bromamines, we're talking basically about all the same stuff. The only difference is, what is that ammonia molecule attached to? Is it attached to chlorine, or is it attached to bromine? Or is it attached to, to something else? Regardless of what it, of what the ammonia molecule is attached to, you got to get get rid of it. And the only way to do it is by shocking. Shock the pool regularly. Shock the pool each week. Shock the pool after after a heavy rainstorm. Shock the pool after a party. When you deal with ammonia the right way and keep it out of the pool as much as you can, you eliminate the problem and the issue. That's all there is to ammonia. It's it's not it's nothing nothing big. The only time you should use ammonia, it's great in a glass cleaner or or a, or a cleaning product for inside your home. Which again leads to the idea of please do not use household cleaners to clean your pool. The odds of you adding ammonia or nitrogen into the water are really high. If you have any further questions on, on this ammonia problem, please feel free to call me or email me. You can email me at techhelp at parpools.com. And don't forget to visit our website at parpools.com forward slash pool care for all your needs. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.